Hello, you all. It has been quite a while. Um, yeah, this summer has been really weird, kind of like in a in a in a good way. But but also kind of like I've learned so much about my own limits, you know, and what I can do and what I can't do and what I love doing and what I absolutely hate doing or hate is such a strong word, but like what I don't really enjoy doing. And yeah, it, it has been interesting summer and yeah so the funny thing is i have some vlog content or some footage from my summer um not not much but some but i never managed to make them into vlog because i was hanging out with other people i didn't want to talk to camera and when i'm with other people i'd rather concentrate on being with other people you know and not do this now i'm alone <laughs> Well, I do have Rosa with me, but you know. So, um, yeah. The thing is, I the summer just went by really fast, and what what I mean really is fast. And I I feel like I was a bit burned out when the summer started. Not not properly, but just a tiny bit burned out because I had so many client projects, I had my big concert, my recital thing, you know, and all that, and it just, it was really exhausting, really, I, I think, and it was really hard to, for me to just figure out life and things. So this is my first summer being full-time self-employed musician slash teacher slash whatever um basically full-time entrepreneur uh, without without having to or without having to kind of lean on to the system to take <laughs> kind of care of me a bit you know um and without having to seek for a summer job at wherever to come by. And man, have I learned so much during this summer. So to be honest, this is the biggest personal growth probably ever I've had this just this summer, which is when you think about it, it's just a few months, really. And I've learned so much about myself, about my limits, about what I love doing and what I don't really like doing. And career-wise, what I love, what I want more of, um, what I enjoy doing career-wise, um, on personal level about my home, see this bookshelf. People who know me, they know I'm not an organized person, but I've started to just lean towards minimalism. I'm, I'm not minimalist, not yet. I have so much stuff, but I've started to get rid of things and just let go of things that are just taking space and energy and things that I don't need, you know. And I decided and I noticed that I want to live more intentionally. I want to do things that actually mean a lot to me. I want to enjoy what I about what I have. I have by the way, I have three dogs now. <laughs> um, three beautiful dogs, one of which I will get to know soon enough. Um, I, I have a beautiful home, which I haven't been appreciating. And I know why, because I can't manage all the stuff I have. It's weird. 
Man, this is such a rambly video. I'm sorry. I I will also do minimal editing because <laughs> I I want you to have all the brain dump <laughs> that what's happening in my head. But yes, um, I've been leaning towards being more minimalistic about my possessions. I'm not talking about instruments. I freaking love my instruments. I, It's my profession, so I won't be getting rid of those, but I am getting rid of the stuff that doesn't mean much to me. And I've already gone through so much this bookshelf. There's actually one empty box behind the harp. It's just there's nothing because there's nothing left for that box currently. Um, I've been getting plants. I've been managed. Ma I've managed to keep them alive. This is big. <laughs> this this is big, and I've been enjoying seeing them grow and just take care of them. I've stopped consuming so much time or consuming so much content on social media. I've been cutting down my social media time. So if I haven't gotten back to some of the comments or all that, it's been this kind of like transition phase for me to just not get like I'm, I'm not sure if it's addicted but you know when you just sometimes mindlessly scroll down instagram or facebook or whatever um i actually put limit time limits on all those apps on my phone so i won't be doing that and when i use them i'm using them intentionally i have 10 minutes and i'm gonna use that time without just mindlessly scrolling through but actually just intentionally doing that rather if it makes any sense to you 10 minutes you can't go through everything but you learn to prioritize what you want to see and what you don't want to see and all that I haven't even gone further than this one bookshelf here in the living room and I already feel so much <laughs> lighter you know it looks nice it doesn't look cluttery at least too much and it's just I don't know hi I I mean I'm new me I'm I'm still me but I have found ways to just be more intentional and simplify my life in in a good way and it's been nice it's been extremely nice <laughs>